Hey, how do I configure an LACP lag between my Juniper and Cisco switch? Well, in this video, I show you how. All right, so diving into the topology, on the left-hand side, I have my Juniper switch running Junos, and on the right-hand side, I have my Cisco switch running iOS. Now, the objective is to configure a functioning LACP connection that's going to bundle these physical interfaces into a logical interface. Now on Juniper side, this interface, this logical interface will be called AE1, standing for Aggregate Ethernet 1. And on Cisco side, uh, interface G0 and 01 will be bundled into an interface called PO1, or Port Channel 1. With that being said, I'll go ahead and dive into the configuration. All right. So I'll move into the edit tier of the configuration. And if I take a look at what's already configured, I already have VLAN 10 configured, the data VLAN. And I currently have the interface that's connecting to PCA configured as an access port. Here I can see XE003 is functioning as an access port for VLAN 10. So what I want to focus on is configuring the physical interfaces to be associated with this logical interface called AE1. But there's one critical step that I need to do on Junos in order to enable the link aggregation feature. In order to do so, I'll issue the command set chassis, aggregate devices, ethernet device count. And this is saying how many lag connections do I wanna enable on this device? And they start from zero. So the first one would be AE0. So if I wanna use the one in this example, AE1, I need to specify a device count of two. So I'll hit enter. Next, I'll go ahead and tell interfaces XE01 and 00 that they're going to be a part of this AE1 interface. I'll do so by entering the command set interfaces XE000 gig ether options 802.3ad. And here I'll specify that AE1 interface. So I'll hit the up arrow and I'll just swap out this 0 for a 1. And boom, those two physical interfaces are now associated with that logical interface. So I'll start to configure the lag interface itself. I want to enable it for LACP. So I'll go under the interface. From here, I'm going to specify the parameter aggregate ether options. This is going to allow me to turn on this connection for LACP. So I'll type LACP. And I want this to actively attempt to establish that connection with the remote side. So I'll specify the parameter active and hit enter. I'll hit the up arrow. And because I'm connecting over to a Cisco appliance, and by default, Juniper functions with the periodic LACP state of fast, I'm going to adjust this to periodic slow. But the last and final step on the Juniper side is to configure the logical interface itself as a trunk board for VLAN 10. So I'll go ahead and do that. Set interfaces, AE1.0. Family, Ethernet switching, interface, mode, trunk. I'll hit the up arrow to refrain from typing that again. I'll specify the VLAN member as 10. And that is it for the Juniper side. So I'll go ahead and give this a commit and quit. And that is all set. So I'll go ahead and hop over to the Cisco side. Again, interface G03 over here is already configured as an access port for VLAN 10. So type enable, I'll move into the global configuration. If I take a look at what I already have here, I can do a do show run. Here I can see I have interface G03 configured as an access port. And from here, I want to go ahead and associate interfaces G01 and G00 with port channel 1. So I'll go ahead and do that. Interface G00, channel group 1, that's for PO1, mode active. This is telling it to establish an LACP connection actively. And here, after entering that command, you can see it automatically created that logical interface. So I'll go ahead and do the same for interface G01, channel group mode active, oh. channel group one mode active. 
And now I'll configure the port channel itself to be a trunk and a pass traffic for VLAN 10. So I'll move under interface PO1. I'll type in switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q. Switch port mode trunk. Switch port trunk allowed VLAN 10. All right, and with that configured on the Cisco side, I am done. So if I wanna validate that these interfaces are configured for the respective VLAN on the Cisco appliance, I can issue the command show VLAN brief. Here I can see interface G03 is configured as an access port for VLAN 10. And notice I don't see the port channel interface because it's functioning as a trunk. So it's associated with all of the VLANs. Now let's take a look at the LECP connections. So. I'll issue the command show ether channel summary. And here I can see I have interface G00 and G01 with a P, which means bundled in port channel. And they're up and functioning. A capital U stands for in use and the S just stands for a layer two connection. And if I hop over on the Juniper side and I was to enter in the command show VLANs, well, here I could see I have my AE1 interface and the XE03 interface associated with the data VLAN. If I wanted to validate that these interfaces are functioning as they should in this LACP lag, I'd issue the command show LACP interfaces. And here we can see that both of the interfaces that I have configured for that lag, XE0 and XE01, are in a state of distributing, collecting, and synchronizing. And I can also see the MUX state is set to collecting and distributing. But let's go ahead and test this out to see if I can get some round trip connectivity from PCA to PCB. If I do a show IP, I can see PCA has the IP address of 10.0.1. So let me attempt to run a ping over to PC2. And look at that. We have round trip connectivity. All right, well, that is the end of this video. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, Go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and tick that bell notification icon so you can stay tuned for future videos. As always, thanks for viewing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.